Happy Monday. My name is Loretta. I wanted to share a dream that I had about the churches uh, in America that had feces on them and in them. It was overflowing out of them. And um, in that, uh, the Lord had showed me through his word and through speaking to me that uh, the church needs to buck up and quit um, being lazy, acting like a bunch of panty waste. Um, that kind of sounds dumb. But anyways, um, but it's time for us to uh, uh, wage war on our spiritual enemies. Um, not <laughs> We don't wrestle against flesh and blood, so we're not fighting people. We're fighting what's causing people to be ridiculously ridiculous. <laughs> The, enemy, the, the Lord has shown me that the enemy of our souls is uh, picking off people one by one through, uh, you know, words we speak, actions, lawlessness. Um, it, it's, it, it's a tragedy, and the end result is uh, illness, sickness, and sometimes death from a physical ailment and such. I've been hearing people say, um, we've got to take the kingdom by force, and uh, the Bible says to do that, but in doing so, um, we can't go around crushing men and women and children's hearts while we feel like we're taking the kingdom of God by force. It's not all about that. It's not about hurting uh, people. It's about <laughs> taking this uh, spiritual reserve for us, for God's children, through prayer and fasting and intercession. Through uh, uh, our prayer and fasting and intercession, um, uh, it's one of the ways that we worship and uh, adore our God, our Father. We exalt Him. We exalt His name lift his name on high that way and um, in so doing uh, the Lord gives us a reward of opening the windows of heaven uh, and pours out his blessings um, we need to quit talking about taking the kingdom by force if we're not going to actually do it uh, we have to start doing it but you have to do it right we are able to go up and take the country by the storm of the Holy Ghost um, uh, when the enemy comes in like a flood and is disruptive then the Spirit of the Lord is the one that raises and lifts up a standard so we can have a standard standard is a word that we need to use it's a standard uh, we gotta do it live by it speak it um, uh, not the cowboy way like in the movies but uh, but God's way and real life and um, we got to quit letting movies um, be the ones that give our inspiration for serving the one true God and that we that God we got to know and believe that God is plenty of inspiration you know the Father Jesus and the Holy Ghost there are plenty of inspiration we don't need to tack some extra stuff on there just to say we need it for our inspiration we, we need God that's that's it we need the Lord and uh, it's time of, for a time of preparation for um, <laughs> people uh, you know save up canned goods and water and such which is probably good for uh, any emergency situation but uh, I really feel like um, God wants us to put him first and be inspired by him and um, not we need to start saying um, we need to start saying uh, let God arise and our enemies be scattered We're, we should be fighting uh, any kind of fight or battle that we go through um, whether it's on a personal level or city or country or state uh, or land um, uh, we need to be saying let God arise and his enemies be scattered um, we can't 
uh, face a battle, any types of battle, spiritual warfare especially, uh, with an attitude like we're going to get our butts kicked, you know. We've got to uh, face it to win, face our, face our battles and our struggles to win. Uh, uh, the Bible says, uh, let the ministers of the Lord uh, weep between the porch and the altar. It's a time for that. Uh, I don't believe it's a time for mushy. I believe it's a time for seriousness. Um, I mean, <laughs> some people of old, they, um, you know, got the sackcloth on and wallowed around in some ashes. And not just to say they did it, but to show that uh, they were serious to the Father about a, a great outcome. And um, I heard a minister say one time, and I, I really appreciated what he had to say. He said, uh, don't uh, uh, put the sackcloth on over your clothes. Put it on like it clothes. God wants us to cry out to him uh, earnestly. Not like a bunch of whiny babies that, um, with the fake tears, with no value to the tears, just making stuff up as you go um, so you can get your way. That's sick. Very sick. Um, that kind of whining is um, uh, what I learned in a psychology class years ago uh, was um, only child syndrome and uh, baby of the family syndrome whenever uh, someone cries to manipulate and to get their way. And there's nothing real about those kinds of tears. Nothing. It's a uh, time to cry out in repentance rather than um, we need to cry out for our, our, our families, our loved ones, the stranger within our gates, ourselves. I just want to say something about the stranger within our gates. The stranger within our gates that the Bible talks about um, that we're supposed to receive is uh, another, none other than um, uh, people that enjoy our company and like to be around us because they see God moving in a powerful way and they like that type of environment. So that's the stranger within our gates that we need to be paying attention to and um, the church needs to be doing that. They're not. They're not doing it. Um, they do it, do it to, to an extent. Uh, feed them food, give them clothes, and enough to keep them quiet. And then, then what? Um, there's more. There's way more. We're not to resemble wimpy. Um, you know what I'm saying. Uh, we need to be uh, like oak trees, trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord. Uh, that are that's partaking of God because we've grown up in a healthy spiritual environment. Let me just say that again, a healthy spiritual environment. Um, you can't be in a non-healthy spiritual environment and expect to be an oak tree. Uh, you'll be a little shrub of some kind. Um, the Bible says a shrub in the desert. Um, we need to be strong and uh, firm and be solid in the rock, Jesus Christ. He's our rock. And he's, he's our example of being strong. And rocks are very strong. So I think you get it so far. And uh, I hope you finish reading this article. I know you'll be blessed. Um, I'm sure I'll get some haters, but uh, that's nothing new for me. Uh, love those that uh, uh, are paying attention to this and uh, realize the seriousness of uh, getting our hearts right with the Lord. I know I am. Stirred me up. And uh, the Lord stirred me up over the last few days to, uh, you know, get my life in order and for uh, to share with other people to get their lives in order. So please finish reading this article and um, leave comments if you like. God bless.